What is up guys, Charlie Pings here. Welcome to another tutorial. I'm so glad to be back. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today I decided to show you guys how to set up your document correctly for t-shirt designing. So if you guys are looking to create some t-shirt designs in Photoshop or even Illustrator for that matter, this is the appropriate way to do that and this is the way I do it. The really cool thing about this tutorial is this works great with Merch by Amazon as well. So if you guys are looking to do other POD sites or Merch by Amazon and you want to print your designs, the document setup I'm showing you today works perfectly with that. So so it actually is a multi tutorial basically because you're doing multiple things in one and um, this is the way I've been doing it for so long and I've never had issues so I know this works and I'm excited to show you guys how I do it so without further ado let's go and hop in the computer and get started I always say that without further ado I, I just never understood why people say that and then I started saying it anyway let's go and do this Alright guys, so we're in Photoshop and we're ready to create a new document and set it up correctly for t-shirt designing because that's what the whole point of this video is, right? You guys want to create t-shirt designs, but maybe you just don't know how to set up your document. And it's okay. Photoshop has a lot of buttons and it can be really, really confusing at times. So I'm going to make it easy for you guys today and I'm going to show you the way I set up my document every single time to kill it in Photoshop and t-shirt designing in general. So let's do it guys. So I'm in Photoshop now and what I want to do is I want to go to create new. So I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC. If you guys are using older models, models? I don't know if it's called models. If you guys are using older versions is what I meant to say, then you could do this too, so don't worry. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the button create new, the little fancy button here on the left, create new. And as soon as we do that, we're gonna see a new document thing pop up, a little thingy in the bobber. It's gonna pop up and it's gonna be called new document, okay? So with this, we can actually start setting up our document the way we want it. So the first thing we wanna look for is the dimensions because those are super important. So you wanna go to the right, where mine says pixels, yours might say inches, which is actually what we want. So we wanna go from pixels and we wanna change it to inches. And then the document setup is actually gonna be 15 inches by 18 inches high, okay? The reason why we do 15 by 18 is because the t-shirt is taller than it is wide, okay? So if you have a t-shirt that's wider than it is tall, if that makes sense, then you probably have a really awkward t-shirt. You should probably toss that bad boy and go get another one that's better, um, unless you're into that kind of shape of a t-shirt, then just keep it and wear it, rock it. You do you, I'm not judging you. The next thing that's super important is color mode. You wanna switch it from RGB to CMYK. And the reason for that is because CMYK, I keep wanting to say CYMK. But anyway, CMYK is print colors, okay? And that's the print profile that you need to use for printing. Now, if you do RGB, your print shop might ask you to convert it to CMYK. I almost did it again. Um, and if you don't do it, it might print funky. So just make sure you're doing CMYK because that is the print profile, okay? So anyway, go to CMYK, keep 8-bit the same, don't mess with that, and then you can keep the background white or you can change it a different color if you so desire. Like for instance, if you're designing on a black t-shirt, you can change the background to black. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm creating a t-shirt design for a white shirt, so I'm gonna keep my background on white. And once all that looks good, and once you have exactly what I have here, you can hit the blue button that says create. You hit that and it's gonna pop up a new document with the exact dimensions and the exact resolution that you just inputted into that new document field and you were ready to go guys. That's all you have to do. It's as simple as that. So now when you create your design, it's gonna be the right format every single time and you never have to worry. More often than none, a screen printing shop will ask you to use Pantone solid uncoated unless they use another profile, but that's the colors they're gonna ask you to use. Now, if you don't know anything about that, it's okay. I'm gonna show you guys how to pull those up so you can use them in your design. But basically when you're actually designing the shirt instead of using a regular red you want to use a Pantone red instead and um, it's pretty easy to do so let me go ahead and show you so you what you want to do is you want to pull up swatches here and mine's on the right side yours might be somewhere else now I already have Pantone colors selected but if you don't it's okay yours is gonna look a lot more simple than this you're gonna have a lot less colors but all you have to do is you have to go to this little menu icon right here it's a bunch of dashes stacked on top of each other you want to click that and then once you click that you go down to Pantone solid uncoated and then you append those or you can click OK and that's gonna add them to your swatch library and those are all Pantone colors those are all good to use on your design and when your print shop actually opens up your file they're gonna be super impressed because you're gonna be prepared and ready to go and they don't have to do extra work for you now you guys are experts at creating your own document appropriate for designing t-shirts I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already that's it for me guys I know it's, it's short-lived right that's that's all I got for this tutorial but I have plenty more coming and if you guys guys want to stay updated, follow me on Instagram at Charlie Pangus. Subscribe if you haven't already. And that's it, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.
All I gotta say before I end this video is have fun designing, guys. And also, check out my other videos. They're gonna be around here somewhere on the outer corners or whatever. I don't know where to, you know what I mean. They're gonna be right here. One right here, one right here.